Managing the whole life cycle of a fixed asset in SAP Business One Release 9.0 is easy, with fixed asset management functionality embedded into the core product, providing an end-to-end -end process while supporting Business One infrastructure. Let's show you how to activate the solution, how to define the required settings, and how it runs in the daily operations of the company OEC computers. To activate the solution, you simply navigate to Administration, System Initialization, Company Details, the Basic Initialization tab. You just need to ensure that the checkbox Enable Fixed Assets is ticked, and here you can actually determine your calculation depreciation by month or day. Now let's navigate to Setup, Financials, Fixed Assets, and the Account Determination window. As you can see that for motor vehicles at OEC Computers, these accounts have already been defined by the OEC Computers Accountant as they'll be used in automated postings. If we now move on to depreciation types, OEC computers have already defined two types of depreciation, one for internal purposes and one for external purposes. The first depreciation type is for external purposes and it's been defined with a straight line depreciation method. Its calculation base is monthly and if we select the calculation tab we can see that the calculation method is the acquisition value divided by the total useful life of the vehicle. If we then move to the next depreciation type, we can see that this depreciation type is for internal purposes and this has been defined with a multi-level depreciation method. Its calculation base is also monthly and if we select the calculation tab, we can see that the depreciation has been set for over 10 years. The first six years, there will be an annual depreciation of 12.5% and then for the following four years, there's an annual depreciation of 6.25%. There are also many other options available for setting up depreciation types. Let's now move on to our depreciation areas. We have set up a depreciation area for internal purposes, and this is of an additional area type. And we've set up a depreciation area for gap reporting where this type will actually make direct postings to the general ledger and has been defined as the main depreciation area. And then we have our asset classes, which have already been defined under the asset class setup window. For motor vehicles, for example, we have two depreciation areas, one for gap and one for internal purposes. With the gap depreciation, you can see the account determination definition that will be used for the postings, as well as the use for life for both areas. So that's the initial setup for motor vehicle fixed assets at OEC Computers. So let's now see how depreciation is done for one of their vehicles. OEC Computers purchased a car as a fixed asset for the company back in February. Jason Butler from OEC Computers would like to register this asset in the system and he first must create the asset master data for the vehicle they have purchased. So to do this he navigates to Financials, Fixed Assets and selects Asset Master Data. For any fixed asset items you still need to define the master data for these fixed assets. So now we're going to add our item number which will be called car and the description will also be called car. Jason will also like to define it as a sales item just in case OEC computers would like to sell it down the track. We can now select the asset class by moving to the fixed assets tab. We can select our asset class for motor vehicles and then we can select our corresponding asset group These are the definitions required for this particular asset, so let's now add it to the system. Now Jason can move on and register the purchasing invoice for the item in the system. So to do this, he navigates to the purchasing menu, 
selects a purchasing invoice, it selects a vendor, and a posting date of February this year. He then selects the item that he's going to purchase. and a unit price of $30,000. We can now add the invoice to the system. If we now go back into the Fixed Assets module, under Financials, Fixed Assets, and under the capitalization window, we can see that by purchasing the car, we automatically have a capitalization for this asset. So now we can run a depreciation for this asset by going to the depreciation run window. Let's first select the depreciation area for gap. And by selecting the preview button, we can now see the estimated portion that will be depreciated for this year. Once we execute this, it will run until the end of this period, which is the end of this month. Now the depreciation was posted. And to double check this, we can do this by drilling down to the last journal entry by going into the journal entry window. We indeed see that it was posted and everything looks fine. Now if we select the depreciation area for internal purposes and by selecting preview, we can see that the depreciation for this is a little bit less because we define the lifespan a little bit longer. So now we can execute it. Now let's view under the fixed assets reports the asset history sheet. We can select our asset class, we select the depreciation area for gap, and then see what postings have been made so far. But first we have to select the period, which is from February until the end of this period. Now we can view our asset history sheet. We can see that we purchased the car for $30,000. And so far we have depreciated it by $4,587. And our net book value is currently $25,413. If we now go back and select a different depreciation area, such as our internal depreciation area, and then run the asset history sheet again. Again, we can see that we purchased a car for $30,000. The current depreciation is $3,432, and our net book value is slightly higher at $26,568. And it's slightly higher due to the longer lifespan. SAP Business One's fixed asset capabilities have been enhanced to meet demanding local and international requirements. Its new version is able to handle different accounting areas and meet reporting requirements for internal purposes, tax accounting and international reporting standards. Fully integrated into the core of Business One Release 9.0, it provides an end-to-end -end process for easily managing your fixed assets.